when you spend, you know, over 200 days a year with somebody, I think, yeah, clearly, you know, there'll be, there'll be a sense of loss. But I think, yeah, probably come, you know, the beginning of the new year, it'll be a bit strange not to, not, not to have him hanging around. <laughs> I absolutely hate to lose, so that, that means you'll do what you need to do to make sure you don't, I think. Um, because if you, if you don't mind losing, then uh, it's unlikely you're going to put the work in to make sure you win. I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. You know, we've been really lucky. We've spent a lot of time out there over the last two years. When you go out somewhere at midnight and people are out playing football or volleyball or, you know, running, um, I just think that's amazing. You know, their passion is huge. And I think that and a good party, which is basically the Olympics, you know, you, you couldn't ask for a better place to have it. We've won every single gold medal you can win, except the Paralympics. So it's really, really clear what we're trying to achieve. There have been hiccups along the way, and obviously we're lucky because we have a test event called the Olympics. Um, so, you know, the Paris should be amazing. <laughs> you know, we've won five worlds and stuff, but ultimately we'll be remembered so far for the bronze medal, which I, I don't consider as a high. Uh, but because it was the Paralympics, it, it was probably our most important medal. But hopefully the career high is still to come. I'm not trying to get too excited. I think I'm just trying to go with the flow, live in the present, you know, and take each day as it comes. Because I think uh, probably in London, you know, we were looking so much at the big picture, you know, at the gold medal, that actually just taking it each day would have probably stood us in better stead. So it's a very different skew. We're very different athletes in this four-year cycle than we were four years ago. Our boat isn't the easiest, it's really technical, lots of stuff is liable to breaking. So we basically sail a two-person boat, which has three sails, main, jib and spinnaker, and Alex sits at the back and steers, and I sit at the front and control all the ropes. The things that make the boat a bit different are that we sit on centerline seats, which is perhaps not normal, and I sit on a saddle seat in the middle, and I have to be strapped in at all times. And other than that, not, that'll do. We're the only class that have three sails, so we have a massive spinnaker, um, which is really cool at the games because we've got country flags. So I like to think that we're the best looking class <laughs> um, of the three Paralympic classes. It's been an amazing uh, experience for us and we've got a lot of friends through that and a lot of life experiences and we're different people now because we have boats, I, I would say. And yeah, for our family, it just, just means everything, so one last chance, let's, let's try and win. The way I looked at it was, we came fifth in Beijing, we came third in London, so clearly the natural progression has to be first, doesn't it? <laughs>